On this 22nd Thursday in Ordinary Time, let us pray with a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St Luke. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signalled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that they were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him, and likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Yesterday we quoted Apostle James when he said, Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deluding yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks at his own face in a mirror. He sees himself, then goes off and promptly forgets what he looked like. This might happen to us when we listen to the word of the Lord. We seem to do the same as when before leaving for work, after getting up and getting ready, we stand in front of the mirror wash our face, comb our hair and run off, as if we didn't want to stop too long to really see how we are doing, how we look, how our face looks. This is what we do about the Gospel. We listen to the Word, but we don't always know how to slow down or how to let what we hear reflect something of God's will, something of who we are, something of how we are doing. When we don't put the Word into action, it's because we don't devote time to it, We don't really contemplate it. Rather, we listen to it hurriedly, in passing, wanting to do what we wanted to do and not so much what God wants or is asking of us. We need to take more time. It's necessary to have moments of silence. It's necessary to go on spiritual retreats. It's necessary to look at ourselves in the mirror of the word for a longer while. Let's try a little harder today. Let's make the effort. Today is a day to contemplate, to picture this beautiful scene from the Gospel, to get inside it as if you were there, to fall in love with a Jesus who amazes us, astonishes, calls, gets into the boat, teaches, forgives, soothes, invites to trust, and turns a simple fisherman into a fisher of men. Today I would like to remain silent, wouldn't you? I'd like not to say very much. I'd like to simply highlight some brushstrokes that the Gospel has already drawn. We see Jesus getting into Peter's boat, getting into his life, his place of work, much in the way that he got into my life and wants to get into yours, if you're listening. He asks you to make room for him in your life, in your home. Jesus invites Peter to trust his word. He invites us to believe, to abandon ourselves, to believe not so much in ourselves, but in him. And once Peter begins to trust, at your command I will lower the nets, then everything is transformed, and what's inexplicable happens. The two boats overflow with fish, just as your life is full and mine is too. They're full of presence that God gives us. Peter recognises greatness. He is amazed and he falls at Jesus' knees, not because he's miserable, but because he's facing something so much greater than we are. We're sinners, 
But that doesn't mean we're nothing. We are something, but something small before Jesus. We can only see how little we are when we discover how great God is and how great Jesus is. We cannot recognise who Jesus is if we do not realise that we're small before God. Finally, Jesus says to Peter, Do not be afraid. Don't be afraid of being a sinner. I already know that. Jesus knows that we're sinners. He knows everything and doesn't care. He transforms what seems to be useless and turns it into something great. The world produces sinners and then discards them. Jesus embraces the sinners, forgives them and turns them into fishers of men. I hope you feel like embracing Jesus today and that you feel like falling at his knees. I hope you can recognise how small you are, how great God is and how much he has done for us in our lives. May we have a good day and may the blessings of our merciful God, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit descend upon our hearts and remain with us always.